Hello my friends. You forgot your PIN or password and Windows login is blocked. Perhaps you have already tried to open Drive C in the registry editor, but in the this PC window the drive with your Windows is simply not displayed. Or you tried to reset the password using the command prompt and in the end none of the password reset methods you tried helped, and now you do not know what else you can do to gain access to your computer or laptop without losing your personal files. Please do not rush to format your computer or reset your PC to factory settings, in this video I will show you a way to install the new Windows 11 in a slightly unusual way so that the installation program automatically saves all your data in the new Windows and places it in the Windows old folder. Exactly the same actions are suitable for Windows 10. This video was made in real time, and in the end you can see for yourself that this method will completely save my and your files, watch carefully, do not worry repeat exactly after me step by step and we will succeed. To do this, you will need a bootable USB flash drive Windows 10 or 11, but if you do not have such a flash drive, you can ask your relative or friend, or you can make such a flash drive yourself, but for this you need another computer or laptop, making a flash drive will be completely free. Connect this USB flash drive or Windows DVD to your computer, and restart your computer. Immediately after the start of the reboot, continuously press a certain key on the keyboard to bring up the boot menu. I press the F12 key, for you it could be EB, F8, F9, F11, F12, or some other key, there is no single standard and different computers may have different keys to call the boot menu. The boot menu opens, find the installation USB flash drive or DVD in the boot menu, press enter. The installation menu opens. I'm not changing anything here. Next. Next. You need to check the box here. Next. Here you need to enter the activation key. I had Windows 11 installed on my computer before, so I don't need to enter the product key and the new Windows 11 will be activated automatically. I click, I don't have a product key. To keep your Microsoft license, you must install the same edition of Windows. If you had Windows Home, choose Windows 11 Home, if you had Windows Pro, choose Windows 11 Pro. This way you will keep your Microsoft license. Since I had Windows Pro on my computer, I choose Windows 11 Pro. Next. I accept the terms of the license. In the window that opens, we see all the partitions and disks connected to the computer, and here we need to select the partition on which Windows 11 will be installed. On disk number 0, there is one large partition with the old Windows and four small system partitions. Disk number 1 is a Windows USB flash drive. It is quite possible that in addition to the disk with Windows, some of you have several disks connected to your computer, and in order not to lose personal files that we had on the old Windows, in no case should you delete or format anything here. To continue the installation, you need to mark the disk with Windows, it is the largest in size here, and click, Next. If you install Windows 10, then the installation program informs that all files from the previous Windows will be moved to a folder named Windows Old, and after the installation of Windows 10 is complete, we will have access to all personal files, and although in the new Windows 11 such a message no longer appears, after the installation is complete personal files will also be saved in the Windows Old folder. Click, Install. We won't have to do anything for a while, the computer will automatically reboot several times. Please, don't turn off your computer. So, all the Windows 11 files are downloaded, and now we need to do some settings. Here you must select your region, yes. Now choose your keyboard layout, yes. Skip. I will change the computer name later. In this window, you need to click, set up for work or school. Next. On this page, you can sign into your Microsoft account, but to get a local account, you need to click, sign in options. 
In the window that opens, click Domain Join instead. And here we are on the page where you need to enter the local username. To continue the installation, you need to click Next, but before that I want to say one important thing. If you click Next, a large package of additions to Windows 11 will be installed on your computer, and this will take quite a long time, but at this step you can refuse it. This is what this installation will look like. Those who want to install this, click Next and wait for the installation to complete. For those who want to refuse them, I suggest simply disconnecting the internet cable, and the installation will complete much faster. Okay, I'm disconnecting the internet cable. Next. I will not create a password. I click Next and Windows 11 installation continues as usual. I accept the privacy policy. The new Windows welcomes us. Now you can restore your internet connection. Yes, the installation of the new Windows 11 has been successfully completed, and I hope that everything will go smoothly for you too. I open settings, then the account section. Here we see that my Windows is managed by a local account, but if you need to sign into a Microsoft account, click Sign In, and then follow the system recommendations. Now I will show you where personal files from the old Windows are saved. I open this PC, then double click on Drive C, and here we see the Windows old folder which I talked about at the beginning of the video. I open this folder, then open the users folder. Open the James user folder. This is the user who managed the blocked windows. And here we see all the personal files of the James user. Let's check how these files were saved after installing the new windows. I open the desktop. There are several folders here. And I will check the video folder. Yes, all the videos are saved and work fine. And all the other files from the old and blocked windows are saved as well. I hope that this method will solve your problem with a forgotten password and will also save your files, and if this helped you, write to me about it in the comments, like and subscribe to my channel, this will help me to continue promoting my educational videos. Good luck!